By far, Ariana Grande has been one of my most requested videos recently. So I just figured, why not do it? So I'm sorry if I look a little bit green. Um, I would love to be able to say it was the lighting, but I've been quite ill. Emma's ill face. Meet YouTube. <laughs> so I'm using the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation, which I used to love a lot. And then I just kind of stopped using it because I was like trying new things and just kind of playing with new products. And um, the other day I just kind of thought, oh, I haven't used that in a while. Repurchased it and I've fallen back in love with it. Especially at the moment, my skin has just been so dry. Like, oh, I'm having a really bad skin time at the moment. For Ariana's brows, I'm just going to keep them semi-natural slash just do what I normally do. They aren't crazy dark and crazy defined. The reason why I like Ariana's makeup is because it's very classic. Like, it's, it's kind of the kind of thing that will never go out of fashion. It will look good on a majority of people. And also, it's quite nice for teens. So for like a party or something, it's not too crazy and it's quite a nice thing for kind of people who are just starting to get into makeup to learn how to do. Did I say? I'm I'm filling in my eyebrows with Bruin. I don't know if I mentioned that, but you know that, it's my usual. My eyebrows are a little bit darker than Ariana's, so I'm going to lighten them up a little bit using some of this Maybelline Brow Drama Medium Brand Sculpting Brow Mascara. I'm in the shade dark, but I got a medium one for this I was look. quite sceptical when I first saw this, because I didn't really know why it was shaped like this. <laughs> but I absolutely love this. It keeps your eyebrows stuck down like glue. And I like it because it's, it's got quite like a, a sheer amount of product for the front hairs here on the little ball. And then more opaque as you work back. I just think it's genius. It annoyed me at first, like I didn't really get it. But after playing with it for a while, I've gotten very into this product. And also, I'm trying to grow my brows back in. Because when I was younger, I plucked them all really far apart. And they've just never fully grown back. So I'm trying to grow them back. And this catches onto any tiny little hairs you have. And makes them look thicker. Oh, a lot of talking about eyebrows today. Okay, now on to the eyelids. The first colour I'm going to use is from MUA. And it is just a matte nude colour in the shade 17. I'm just going to put this over the lid as a bit of a, a base. It's just slightly darker than my skin tone. Eyeshadow is very neutral and basic. This is a really, really quick look if you don't have much time in the mornings. Does anyone else find mattifying your eyelid really satisfying? Such a, like, stupid sentence. Oh dear, pleasure from the little things, eh? And now for the kind of inner lid colour, I'm going to use Blank Type from MAC. Something just lighter than your natural skin tone. And this is going to go in the inner part of the eyelid. Keeping it matte. Blending it into the first colour we applied. And I'm just going to pop it a little bit under the brow. Hear my stomach. How embarrassing. The next colour I'm gonna take has kind of a satiny finish, but it's pretty pretty matte. It's from the MUA Heaven and Earth palette, and it is the left hand side, bottom row, second in. <laughs> you could see that for yourself. <laughs> oh well. It's just gonna be a kind of medium blending out colour because I don't want to use texture again but texture would be lovely for this as well I'm just buffing this on the outer part of my eye into my crease and I've just started the series one of Breaking Bad so far I'm absolutely loving it so if anyone's like a Breaking Bad fan Tell me if it gets even better, because like, oh, oh mum. Now I get to appreciate it for the first time round, once everyone else already knows what happens. 
hat. The next colour that I'm going to take, I can't show you because it's completely smashed, but it is Brown Down from MAC. It's a warm toned, like reddish toned brown. This is a Real Techniques crease, but I don't know what it's called, it's rubbed off. And I'm just going to buff that right in the hollow of my eye. Blending is key here. I'm now going to line my lower lash line with the Bourjois Coal and Contour Shadow and Light Pencil in Brun and Caramel. And I'm going to use the warm brown side. And I'm just going to line underneath my eye. And I'm also going to run it along my waterline because she always wears something off black under her eye. I'm just going to blend this out with my finger actually. Keep it quick and easy. I want to keep this look really quite soft so I'm not going to line the top with a black gel or a black pencil like she sometimes does. I'm going to use a black eyeshadow and this is from Inglot, but any dark black eyeshadow is going to initially just push this along my eyelashes. Just to pack the colour on. If you want, you can of course wing it. I'll do a little wing. It's nice and dark and intense, it's just not as harsh, it's just a bit smokier than some of the other options, you know? This technique's just also a little bit more forgiving, so if you are kind of quite new to the whole eyeliner scene and you accidentally smudge it or something, this you just blend it in and it looks like it was meant to happen rather than panicking because you've got gel eyeliner, gel, eyeliner, gel, eyeliner, you've got gel eyeliner all over your face. Take that same brush and I'm just going to run it just along the edges just to make it blend in. I'm now going to put on a little bit of an inner corner highlight because I think it looks nice. And going back to my MUA palette, I'm going to use the highlighter shade here. Just the lightest shade in the palette. The name suggests, in a corner, just popping it in there. And a little bit on the brow bone. Just add a little bit of shimmer. I'm going to put on some mascara. I'm using my favourite of all time, the Bourjois Volume Clubbing Ultra Black Regard Intense Mascara. Um, it's a nice dupe to the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash Mascara, so if you have that, it's similar to that. And I'm just gonna pack it on. She has really lovely full eyelashes, but she always kind of wears fake ones, so I'm gonna put some of those on as well. And on the bottom as well. Okay, I've put on my mascara and my fake eyelashes. I'm wearing the uh, Ardell Demi Wispies. They are my personal favourites at the moment. I really like them because they wing out a little bit. And like to that. finish the rest of my face, I'm going to conceal with my collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade 2. I'm just going to pop this under my eyes. Dominoes on my chin, around my... What's it called? My nose. <laughs> Taking my ring finger because it applies the least amount of pressure. I'm just going to pat this in under my eyes. And everywhere else, obviously. <laughs> this concealer is a little bit lighter than my skin tone. Um, so this is just going to work as a highlight. Now I'm going to take my Real Techniques multi-purpose brush and my Rimmel Sun Shimmer Bronzing Compact Powder in Medium Matte. And I'm going to bronze up my face a little bit. 
So it's going to go down the back of my cheek. Kind of working with my contour as well. Just to get me the Ariana glow, you know. Now for cheeks, she likes, she likes, <laughs> she likes a pink on her cheeks. So I'm going to use a cream blush. This is Lady Blush from MAC. And this was the old formula. I just want to keep that glow to her skin. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of this to her cheek or to my cheek. <laughs> this doesn't suddenly her cheek. I love this colour. I don't wear it enough. I used to wear it all of the time. And now I don't wear it that often. Same with the foundation. You try new things and forget to go back to your old favourites. And now I'm going to highlight. I'm going to use the same MUA palette. Try and keep things cheap. And I'm going to use the same highlight that I used on my inner corner. Why not? I'm just going to pop that on the top of my cheekbone. You can use any highlighter you want, of course. You don't have to use the same as me. The colour that I think looks really good for an Ariana Grande look is this Rimmel Apocalypse in the shade Celestial. It's like a rosy pinkish colour. I think it's really pretty. And it's not too much. So here is my completed Ariana Grande inspired makeup tutorial. As always, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you like the makeup. I hope I did it justice. And all of my social media links are down below. If I'm not uploading a video and you want to know why, I'll probably have posted it on Twitter or something. I hope you have a lovely, lovely day and I'll see you in my next video.